grown man business. Alright, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Mr. T with the bees, baby. Ooh, man, what tonight is? It's Thursday night football. Oh, man. First, let me just say this, man. I see a lot of people evacuating, and uh, I'm glad everybody's being safe. Uh, everybody out there in Florida, I got a lot of family down there in Florida. Scoop, my prayers, my love is out there with you, baby. I'm going to hit you up uh, a little later on. Uh, matter of fact, comment on this video right here, baby. Let me know y'all straight, man. Uh, auntie and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Let me know everybody good. Uh, just say hashtag wartime, baby, because you is a Florida State Seminole. I'm a, I'm a Miami Hurricane, baby, forever. So just hashtag wartime. That, that let me know you good, baby. But uh, a shout out to my cousin, man. Uh, yeah, man, everybody out there in South Carolina, you know, all up and down the coast, man. That, that hurricane's looking crazy. It's looking strong. Um, I remember Hurricane Katrina, man. I worked out there in Hurricane Katrina. And, you know, even being out there like the like two weeks after the hurricane hit we was out there working and we had to evacuate ourselves because hurricane rita was coming everybody forget about rita but uh it wasn't as bad as, as katrina but and i remember what happened man so you know i just want everybody to be safe uh, hope everybody's together with their family the ones who's leaving and coming somewhere uh neutral some neutral grounds i know a lot of people is out here right now you know traffic is crazy but uh at least at least they out of harm's way man that's that's all that matters man but uh yeah man everybody be safe man i know it's crazy weather going on uh it's a little gloomy and the video looks beautiful out here but it is a little gloomy a little cloudy but it is nice man because red ghost is doing the video okay you dig it thursday night football Arizona Cardinals, San Francisco 49ers. They in the Bay Area, baby. I love the Bay Area too, man. Castro Valley, what up? But, um, man, where, where, where do I start, man? Um, you know, Arizona, Arizona Cardinals. Yo, shout out to Kyrie and Brian Lutz. Those are my boys. Those are my guys. Big Arizona Cardinal fans. They got their own podcast, Kyrie's Cardcast. Check out their um, their podcast on YouTube. I starred on it. I guest starred on it a few times. Those are my guys, man. We've been rocking since since the beginning, man. Since I started this this channel, man. So shout out to them. Check their uh, YouTube videos out. Their podcast. Subscribe to their channel. Hashtag grown man business so 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 they know I sent you. Can you dig it? But um Arizona Cardinals. I don't know what's going on, man. I I really don't I haven't figured it out, man. Tonight I'm gonna watch the game closely and I'm gonna try to see what's going on because they have pretty much everybody they had last year. I don't know I don't know if they changed Defensive coordinators or offensive coordinators, but something is just not clicking right now with the Cardinals. San Francisco 49ers, they going through they going through some, some growing pains, man. They got some good games, then they had some bad games. That was that's expected this year with them. They got a new head coach with Chip Kelly. Uh, I just hope Chip Kelly doesn't mess up that franchise. But uh, I'm not a big fan, a fan of uh, Chip Kelly. You see what's going on out there in Philadelphia, right? Them Eagles. Yeah. Your Eagles fans, what up, man? I know y'all happy, man. Keep celebrating, man. This is y'all year, man. Y'all doing good, man. But uh, I hope Chip Kelly doesn't mess up 49ers like, like he messed up the Eagles. But then again, I mean, how bad can the 49ers be from, from last year? It was, it was, it was kind of rough there. But uh, they having pretty much the same type of story 
First game of the season, they won, then they lost the last three. It's not looking good for the 49ers, but I, I just can't tell with this game right here, man. This is a rivalry. Man, this is a, a deep rivalry, actually. Uh, these guys here go to war. Um, it's going to be a, a physical game, man. Defense. Defense. And um, I just don't know, man. I don't know who to go for, man. I like both of them, just to be honest. I like the 49ers. Uh, even when I was young, I used to like 49ers. Man, when Deion Sanders went over there, I liked the colors. I liked them. You know, I'm always, you know, yeah, Denver Broncos fan forever. But, you know, I got some teams that I like. I got some teams I don't like. I don't like the Patriots. Matter of fact, I hate the Patriots. I don't like the Cowboys. Um, never been a real, never been an Eagles fan. Never had that kind of interest of the Eagles. But, you know, uh, I like when they have defense, you know. You know what I'm saying? But I've never been a fan of the Eagles. But, you know, I got teams that I like. I got teams I don't like. And uh, both of these guys, Arizona Cardinals and 49ers, those are two teams that I actually like. So I'm um, kind of torn between this one, man, because I don't know who's going to show up between these two teams, man. Uh, Carson Palmer, you know, he was knocked out of the game last week. He had a concussion. Uh, but at the same time, he haven't been himself, man. I don't know if his age is catching up with him. By the way, Tom Brady comes back. You know, he's it's day four in his return. He's in, he's in practice. He's looking uh, energetic. He's looking happy. The whole team is glad he's back. Boom, boom, bam. But uh, then again, let's remember, Tom Brady is 38 years old. It's going to take him some time to get back in football shape. So I'm thinking maybe this is what Carson Palmer is doing, man. Or this is what he's going through. Uh, uh, that age, the age is, you know, father time is jumping on that shoulder. It's that monkey on his back. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's just not looking sharp this year. He's just not, man. And 49ers, they got a new quarterback, Gabe. Uh, he he's looked pretty good. He has he has some good moments. Me personally, you know, I'm a big Cap fan. That's my boy, man. I wish he would have been starting, but at the same time. I don't, I don't think it it bothers him. He's still making that big uh, one year contract, that money that they uh, they owe him, that the Broncos didn't want to pay to get him. So hopefully next year we'll get him because uh, he'll be a free agent with no strings attached, baby. Can you dig it? But uh, yeah, man, I don't know who to go for, man. I'm, I guess I'm a. You know what? They 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 in San Francisco. I'm gonna go with the home team. I'm gonna go with the 49ers. You know, uh, I'm going to take a chance with them. They haven't been impressing me uh, except for the first game. I just, I think Big Cap should, they should put Big big Cap in, man. Sit down, the young quarterback, uh, let Big Cap take over, man. See what happens. See if he can turn this thing around. Uh, Chip Kelly is really not looking like he's in charge. He's not taking that, uh, that leadership role of a coach. He's not... Uh, uh, he's not. He's not mentoring his his players. I, I, don't, I just don't know, man. It's a disconnect out there in San Francisco land, man, in Forty ers land. I'm heartbroken, man, by both of these teams. So tonight, it just it has to be exciting, you know. <laughs> these two teams, it has to be exciting. Tell me what y'all think. Who y'all going for? Thursday night football. Lisa's football, baby. Grown man business.